Right, so you just downloaded After Effects, thinking, I'm going to be the best editor there is. So you open After Effects to see a basic NASA computer desktop. Yeah, I know, it's quite confusing, isn't it? Well, I'm here to help. In under 10 minutes, you're going to master After Effects, and maybe even become better than me. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, um, that wasn't funny. Start the timer in 3, 2, 1, boom. Right, so you're introduced to the home page, which shows Welcome to After Effects. This shows recent projects and start a new project or open a project. Here we're going to hit start a new project. When you start a new project, everything looks blank, of course, but you're going to need to create a new composition. Here are the different types of compositions that are mostly used within the editing community. We're going to use the one by one, which is 1080 by 1080. You can lock the pixels to one by one if you'd like to. We're going to keep everything else here, but we're going to keep the resolution to a third. You can always change that during your editing process. Here's the duration. I like to put it to 30 seconds because majority of our edit audios are below 30 seconds. So 30 seconds would be perfect. Hit Okay, now that you have your composition, there are a few main panels. The first one that we're going to be looking at is the project panel. This is where you drag and drop everything that you need to work with and everything that you are currently working with during your editing process. You're going to grab a folder, select all the images you're going to want, and then drag them and drop them on there. Once you have all of the images, you can double click them to see the images. But if you want to leave this area, you go up to the X and you're back to your composition. Next is the timeline. In order to access the timeline, you're going to need to click the two images drag them and drop them onto your timeline to the very beginning. Now this is what your timeline is looking like. Your timeline consists of labels, which you can change different colors, great for organization, the visibility symbol, which lets you see certain clips without changing the opacity. We have different commands to change each object. T changes the opacity. S changes the scale. P changes the position. Those are the main shortcuts you're going to need. These three are very important. The first and the last one you're going to be using frequently. The first one is for motion blur. And the last one is for to enable the 3D layer. 3D lets you change the 3D aspects of an image or object. You're going to carry it down on the image. You're going to go to transform and you can see X rotation y rotation and z rotation this is the graph editor this allows you to change the speed of different transitions i'll show you that a bit later we're going to be looking at the tools at the top of here these tools help you move around the selection tool allows you to select different objects on your composition the hand tool allows you to move your entire composition these are not frequently used but this is for anchor point this changes the anchor point of your image this is a masking tool select your image hold the masking tool over, and it shows your selected area that you chose here's the pen tool this pen tool allows you to select certain objects within a space. Text tool. This allows text, but I'll show you that a bit later. Those are the ones that you're going to be using frequently. Next is the effect and presets panel. Not all effects come with After Effects. You're going to need to download those on your own. Animation presets. You can create your own presets using your personal animations and keyframes. This allows faster and more efficient editing. Preview panel. We don't really use. Audio panel. This allows us to see the audio. The align panel allows you to align text and images to the center, to the left, to the bottom, to the right. It allows us to align images. Now is the entire project panel on its own. Ovea allows you to fit it up to the size or resize it to your liking. Ovea is the quality of your entire composition. Full means you are viewing your entire edit at full quality. Quarter means you are viewing it at the least quality possible. I suggest keeping it at half or third, depending on your computer. Here, we don't really use use most of the stuff here. Ovia shows where you are within your timeline. Active camera. This is used to change between camera views. This is used to change between different views of your camera, mostly used with 3D. Now we're going to create a basic transition. First, you're going to take your clip, hit S on your keyboard and scale it to your liking. After that, you're going to hit Command Shift D or Control Shift D for Windows. You're going to click on your next clip and you're going to hit the left square bracket. For your second clip, you're going to hit S for scale and you're going to scale it to your given liking. My image is not centered, so I'm going to hit P and then move the second value down. This allows for my image to be more centered. Going to go to your desired end, hit Command Shift D again to cut your image. Now that you have your two images, we're going to make it so that it's so that it's the size of this given square. You're going to click your image, right click it, go to pre-compose and hit move all attributes into new composition layer. Hit OK. For a shorter method, you're going to hit command shift 
and C to pre-compose your images way quicker. There we go. Now we have our two clips. As you can see, they are within a square. Now that we have our two clips, we're going to create a basic transition. You're going to go to the middle of your clip, add a new adjustment layer above the first clip. You're going to control shift D to cut that first clip. You're going to go nearing the end of the clip. You hit command shift D to cut it. And you're going to command D, move it to the beginning of the first clip and put it up there. What you're going to do is you're going to go to effects and presets Look for warp and drag it upon your first adjustment layer. Now it's gonna look a bit wonky. So you're gonna change the first one to fish eye. Then you're gonna change the bend to zero. Hit U on your keyboard to see all keyframes. You're gonna go to the end of the adjustment layer and change that to negative 100. You're gonna move that keyframe to the very end, like the very, very end. For the second adjustment layer, you're gonna go to your effects and presets, search optics compensation. Drag and drop it on your adjustment layer and change the field of view to 100. Hit reverse distortion. Now at the end of the adjustment layer, you're gonna change it to zero. This is your first transition. This is your first ever After Effects transition. Now to make it way faster, you're gonna hold your keyframes, right click them, keyframe assistant, easy ease. You're gonna hit the graph editor and you're gonna select all of these keyframes. To zoom into your timeline, you hit the plus. You're gonna move the first keyframe up and then the second keyframe a bit further, but you're gonna move it even more up. This makes the transition faster. Now for your second keyframe, you're gonna hit U, hit all the keyframes and hit FN F9 on Mac and F9 on Windows. You're gonna go to the graph editor, select one keyframe, move this upper keyframe down and this other keyframe to the left. This is gonna make the transition way faster. This is what your transition now looks like. Of course, you can change the duration to your liking. Now you know how to use After Effects. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. More tutorials coming in the future. 